What's up, everybody? Happy New Year. It's Kyle with another episode of Unlocking Your Inner Strength. Some of you have been asking, where have I been? Why have these not been live? We've been doing them in the studio, recorded with the video crew. So um, higher quality as far as that goes. But now coming into the new year, I've got my content plan thing that I created. And I'll be getting two podcasts a week. One of them will just be a quick hitter like today, where I might record it from my office here in the garage or I might record it on a walk but it's just going to be some quick thoughts that can further uh, kind of germinate in your mind to potentially help you so yesterday we went for about a three hour hike uh, which was great had my 80 pound vest on had baby Emma who I carried a lot of the the uh, hike Devin carried her in a sash for part of the trip too so you, you know, I'm probably like 225 pounds right now 80 pound vest, 40 pound Emma. It's like 340 pounds in that range. We went for three hours. So my my calves, my traps, everything feeling really good today, but it definitely lit that stuff up. Now, what I want to get across in this quick episode, stop with the mental masturbation this year. What do I mean by that? Stop saying that you're going to wait for this or you're going to try this. Words are words are very powerful, but talk is cheap. Okay, words are very powerful, but talk is cheap. When you say something, don't just say it unless you really mean it. Last week, I was explaining on one of my videos the difference between I will and I want to. I want to gives you an out, right? That's mental masturbation. Catch yourself when you start talking like that. I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to lose this amount of weight. I want to buy this house. I want to go on this vacation. When you say I will, there's a much deeper level of commitment to that. So with all the, the changes you might want to make coming into the new year, all the grand visions you have, what's going to be different this year than last year? Are you actually going all in on your path and your dreams? Or is it just cheap talk? Is it cheap talk? You have to look at yourself in the mirror and you really got to think that everything that you have in your life is a, it's a, the effect of the cause that you've put in, right? So it's the effect of how you've lived your life, the responsibility you've taken, the choices you've made right, the, the effort that you've put in or you haven't put in. Your life is just the outward manifestation of that. You have nobody to blame but yourself. You have nobody to, to blame if your life is not the way that you want it but yourself. And guys, I go through this all the time. Thank goodness I have such a, a, a amazing wife in Devon. She helps me work through a lot of this stuff in my mind. Like we had a... We were in a hot tub on Friday night. Kids were at my in-laws. I slept over there. And she really helped me work through some things uh, where, I, where I lacked confidence. And it was uncomfortable. Like, she was really grilling me with questions. And that little wimp in your head, right, that little wimp in my head wanted to run away and just change the subject. I can't deal with this. But she stayed on me. And it was, a, you know, I had a breakthrough. So when you, when you have that inner wimp and that inner wimp is kicking and screaming and, and telling you why you can't do something, again, I go through this all the time, guys. I'm speaking to you from, from first por- person point of view. When that, that inner wimp is there and it's, it's just being persistent, you have to turn on your alter ego. You need to develop an alter ego. And you need to say, like, mine is Kimmins, right? My Batman single. It's actually my initials within that. You need to have something like that. Where you tell it to shut up. And you got to catch yourself with the negative thoughts. you got to catch yourself with the limiting belief systems that you have. Thoughts, words, and action. I always hammer that home because your thoughts are the, is the first level of creation, then your words, and then your action. So anytime you have a negative thought, or something that, man, this is going wrong again, or this thing is going on. Catch it and go back and redo it in the positive. 
you have to be the the, the person that's going to champion your life. You have to be the person that's going to make your dreams come true and embrace it. Because if everything you dream of, all these, these, these visions that you have, if I was just to say, okay, here you go, you have it, now what? It wouldn't be worth it. You wouldn't not feel the same thing about it. It would have almost zero meaning. The meaning comes from the struggle. The meaning is developed within that. The learning is developed within that. Happiness is growth, right? So growth is, is when we're struggling. Just like when you're struggling in the gym, trying to grow your muscles. That is the struggle. But that's that's where it's really at. So you got to embrace that. You have to embrace the path of struggle and realize that you can have everything you want right now. Let's say you had a, 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 a genie in a bottle. It would have zero meaning to you. It would have zero meaning to you. You, you have to put in the work. You got to put in the work. And, and life is a game, guys. Life is a game. That means a couple things. We got to have fun when we're playing a game. But you got to keep score. You got to hold yourself accountable. You need to have stuff that you can measure. You need to set goals. You need to tell people about your goals. If you have goals and nobody knows about them, that's okay. But if you have goals and you don't write them down and you don't carry them around with you and you're not constantly thinking about them, like I got my new vision board over there. I'm real excited to start popping some stuff onto that for my vision for the year. But you got to constantly be focused on this. I'll finish with this because then I got to get over to the gym. What you focus on expands, guys. One of my favorite sayings is where your attention goes, energy flows, and results will follow. Where your attention goes, energy flows, and results will follow. Let's make it a great year, guys. We got the goal setting workshops coming up at Newell Strength on the 12th in Borough and the 16th in Flemington. So it's going to be an awesome thing. I got an updated goal manual. Going to be taking people through some really good uh, mental exercises with that. But thanks for the support. Be back later with a uh, another podcast. But you might have to wait till it comes out because it probably won't be live like this. But I'm going to start doing one of these live again for you guys each week. Later, guys. Thanks for the support.